So there's obviously not too many Japanese Christmas movies. There's Tokyo Godfathers, which I already talked about. There's Merry Christmas, Mr. Lawrence, which I just talked about. And that just leaves the 1950 film Scandal by none other than Akira Kurosawa. 1950 was the year that Kurosawa made the transition from talented director into international sensation. And this was because of his insanely successful Jidaigeki drama Rashomon. But before he reached that milestone, he directed Scandal. <laughs> this is his 10th feature film. And what it was, was a sharp commentary on Japan's increasingly powerful news media. While Scandal is usually regarded as one of his lesser films, and that's an assessment I'd have to agree with, but I'll say it does offer something very festive, and I did enjoy watching it around this time of the year. The social issues with which Kurosawa addresses here does remain almost depressingly relevant even today. And that's more than 70 years after the film was released. So the movie is about a artist played by Toshiro Mifune. He ends up meeting a pop singer while he's painting a picture in the mountains, and that's played by Miyako Saigo. She ends up missing her bus, and he offers to give her a ride back to her hotel on his motorcycle. They were photographed together by the scumbag journalists, and a tabloid magazine prints fake news about a love affair between the two of them. Mifune's character then hires a lawyer, played by none other than Takashi Shimura, and they try to sue the magazine, and what we get is a bit of a courthouse drama. I think it's the only Kurosawa movie that's about a court case. What's pretty interesting is that the film is an actual inspiration of a real-life experience where Kurosawa found himself romantically involved to an actress. And that actress was Hideko Takamine. Following the end of World War II, the Japanese news media had enjoyed massively increased freedoms, and Kurosawa, no doubt based in part on his own negative experience, came to believe those freedoms had become too extensive. A runaway press was printing whatever it felt like, whatever sold newspapers and magazines, regardless if it was true or not. And as I mentioned earlier, this sounds very familiar with what's going on currently, and has been going on. I guess nothing ever changes. However, I suspect that this film is a personal agenda. And I think that's what led Kurosawa just to push his characters to such extremes. Mufuni's character is a very honorable man, but he's presented in an unnaturally idealized fashion. And by contrast, the magazine editor is effectively almost like a comic book villain. Presented as an immoral, coward, and just actively criminal person. This sort of sharp division between good characters and bad characters definitely does weaken Kurosawa's overall message, I feel like. His film ends up becoming linear rather than the deep debate that it could have been, like Rashomon. While Toshiro Mifune does do as best a job as he can making the protagonist charismatic and entertaining, but it's no surprise that he ends up getting overshadowed in the second half by Shimura. And that's because his character is much more multi-layered. We don't really know what he's thinking or planning. Shimura's character ends up being the only one with any deepness to him. He's caught between the desire to make his terminally ill daughter proud of him and the need to pay off his gambling debt. The film's courtroom scenes are done very stereotypical. Don't expect anything eye-catching, this isn't 12 Angry Men. But they do do a good job of expressing just the harsh way in which things were done at the time. Movie cameras recording the action for newsreads and journalists just jostling for the best position from which to hear the testimonies. 
it really does do a good job at expressing just how unpleasant and overwhelming the experience is for both the defendants. Comparing Scandal to Kurosawa's previous films, I feel like the melodramatic style makes it seem like a much closer fit with Drunken Angel and The Quiet Duel. In terms of style and overall quality, it definitely seems like a step backwards, and that is a little disappointing. Apparently, Kurosawa himself was unhappy with how the film ultimately turned out. I often wonder if the drop in quality is because he had his eye too firmly on the message and not so much on the story or his characters. I feel like every film that Kurosawa does, he has at least one memorable scene. And I'd say this one is definitely the Christmas party. At one point in the film, Shimura's character gets drunk and then he kind of announces his pathetic life. Some random drunk guy wraps his arm around his shoulder and pledges to do a better job at living his life in the coming year. I feel like that's something we all do and it's always depressing. He agrees and these two drunks start singing. And then soon Mifuni's character, who's been doing his best to keep his lawyer out of trouble, he eventually joins in. Gradually, the entire bar does so as well, and it becomes a really fun scene. It's beautifully shot and there's just tons of emotion. I especially like the Christmas decorations. For some reason, there's like silver stars everywhere. It's like what the Japanese think Christmas decorations are. It does so even better than most people do in the West. Especially with everyone just joining in and singing. That's a real spirit of Christmas. The movie's worth seeing just for this scene alone. I just love how, even in his average films, Kurosawa is always capable of these sort of scenes. He always gets you with something emotional. So to break it down, Scandal is probably mid-tier Kurosawa. I'd say at best. It's slightly above low tier. It absolutely pales in comparison to his top tier films like Ikaru. Ikaru just does everything better than this film. Still, if you're a Kurosawa fan and you need to see all of his movies, definitely check this one out. But if you haven't seen his more famous ones, then definitely go for those first. Definitely go for Ikaru. Anyway, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Have a happy new year. And I look forward to seeing all of you next year. Let's do even better. Anyway, leave in the comments your New Year's resolutions and... I will too, and we'll all be depressed together in the new year when it doesn't happen. Anyway, thanks for watching.